Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about Windows 11 in 2026. We're very close to the end of 2025. It was quite a packed year for Windows 11 Insiders. We've had a lot of updates, some good updates, some bad updates, but overall, I think it was a decent year. It could have been way worse. And in this video, I want to talk about Windows 11 2026. Let's talk about some new updates that are coming in, what we know about the update structure related to Windows 11 in 2026, also new features and new versions that we can expect in 2026. 2026. A lot of information from this video was provided by Phantom of Earth on Twitter or X.com, so make sure to follow him from the pinned comment below. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So first of all, related to Windows 11 25H2, which is the current version of Windows 11 in 2026, according to Phantom of Earth on Twitter or X.com, we're going to have yet again monthly feature drops. And basically, we have six feature drops planned for the first half of 2026, one for each month, same as it was in 2025. So I think this is good. We have a security update and a big feature update in every month, at least for the first six months related to Windows 11 25H2. This was the case also in 2025. Talking about version 26H1, which I've done a few videos about and that is present right now in the Canary channel, that is expected somewhere in spring or with the new X2 laptops, and it should basically be the base model for 26H2. Related to 26H2, this version is going to end up most likely being yet another enable and package on top of 24H2, build 26300. It will still be a Germanium-based release with a quick install process, no Bromine or Krypton update. Also, the Canary channel is very likely to stay on 28020 builds for most of 2026. And also, as a prediction, it looks like the build 29000 is going to end up being the 2027 platform release for version 27H2 most likely, so maybe we're not going to get any 27H1 in 2027. Well, this is the update schedule that we know so far related to 2026. Of course, related to 2026, 26H2, which is the main version that will be released in the next year, will most likely be released in September or October as it was this year. Now, talking about new features that we can expect in 2026, of course, you can expect a lot more new EA features. This is Microsoft's path, unfortunately, right now, so I think 2026 will be the do or die year for the AI part of Windows 11 and hopefully they will start to see that users, at least the average user, doesn't want that much AI inside the operating system and they will try to implement new features that are useful and that are requested by users. Related to other features, we don't have a lot of insights but what we know is that Microsoft will focus on gaming quite a lot and they will try to improve different devices and different components and also Microsoft is stating in a recent article that they are committed to making Windows the best place to play and they will continue to refine the system behaviors that matter most to gaming such as background workload management, power and scheduling improvements, graphic stack optimizations and updated drivers. So I think this is quite good. Hopefully Windows 11 will be even better for gaming in 2026. In 2025 I've gamed quite a lot on Windows 11. I didn't have any issues so I think Windows 11 was quite good in this aspect but of course it could be even better. These are pretty much the main points that we can talk about related to Windows 11 in 2026 as a a short recap, we can expect six big updates in each month for Windows 11 on the main release in the first half of the year, and in the second half of the year, we can expect Windows 11 26H2, which will most likely be yet again an enablement package. Related to the Windows Insider program, we don't have a lot of news, so of course, I think the Canary channel and the Dev channel will be the main channels to watch, but of course, hopefully, the Beta channel will be revived because in the past few months, we didn't have any new updates for the Beta channel. So, at the end of this year, I want to thank you all for an amazing 2025 your support was amazing, all the comments, all the likes, and all the things that you've done for this community are great, so hopefully we can continue in 2026. I want to continue making uh, good videos, and of course, feel free to let me know every time you see something that's wrong or something that I can improve, let me know in the comments below. I wish you all again happy holidays, a happy new year if I don't make another video this year, so hopefully we will meet again in 2026 with fresh powers and fresh new Windows 11 updates. For more information about all of the things that we've talked about, make sure to check out the article below or Phantom of Earth on Twitter or X.com. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was your man here from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.